We have implemented ChatGPT on a, a relatively small scale. So we've, we've employed it across many of our different applications, but it's ChatGPT with controls. So we have a whole series of business, business rules associated with it. Basically, we're taking advantage of the language functionality, so it allows natural language to be asked. And then we also have the ability to translate into different uh, languages as well. I, th I think we support 20 different languages or something like that. So we've used it for that. Using ChatGPT as a chatbot on the, on the web page. So it's like, I have a question. What do I, you know, I, I want to find out something. Where can I find this information out? Or I have a question about this topic. And then we already have sort of rules created behind the scenes to help drive that. We haven't used any kind of generative AI, like pure, you know, just, you know, go generate this thing, do it, do what you can. We haven't done anything like that yet. I do see some value in that space, especially for uh, some of the more routine processes. If you think about like uh, HR related processes or financial type processes, I think there's real value there where we're just trying to create things routinely over and over and over again. I see some real value with that, but we're not there yet.